problem with this with most students is we've spent so much time in the last three or four days talking about the unit circle, everybody's fixated on the unit circle. Everybody's like, oh, cosine. You know, they see cosine, they say, you know, cosine of angle equals, you know, the x coordinate. And then, but again, that's for the point on the unit circle. And then we see this, we see three fourths. We're like, I don't recognize three fourths as a point on the unit circle that I'm familiar with, right? At least as far as special right triangles, where I know what the angle is. Or the triangle or one of the three special points on circle. Yeah, I, we, we're not aware of that one, right? So to understand what this angle would be, because we don't know, like special right triangles were 30, 45, 60. This wasn't a point on the right on the unit circle for those angles. So what we need to do, we need to understand cosine differently. Well, don't we understand cosine also like this? Adjacent over hypotenuse? Mm -hmm. So couldn't we also say that cosine inverse of 3 fourths is the same thing as like cosine of what angle is 3 over 4? Sure. So let's represent that. So let's get away from the unit circle for a second. So again, now we're trying to find the angle, or this. If this was just like by itself, cosine inverse of 3 fourths, you'd have to use a calculator. We don't have a way to evaluate this without a calculator with special right triangles. right? But fortunately for us, they're not asking us to evaluate to this. They're saying, take the tangent of this. So we represented this in terms of a triangle. right? We took this and put it like this, and now we can make a triangle. Can I find the tangent of this triangle? Oh, yeah, just got to figure out what that is. So I do 4 squared seven. equals, nope, a squared plus 3 squared. 16 equals a squared plus 9. Minus 9 minus 9, 7 equals a squared. And therefore, do I need to do plus or minus, or are we confident that it's in the first quadrant? We're confident in the first quadrant. Everything's positive, right? So a equals the square root of 7, which is approximately, I just had to buy myself time, which is approximately 2.6457513, right? But there we go. So now we can just write the tangent as square root of 7 over um, tangent, right? Tangent 3. Square root of 7 over 3. Done. Yep. So if you don't have something that's on the unit circle, guys, create a